Okay, so welcome to the Chaos Osteometrics Working Group meeting. We are under the Chaos Code of Conduct, so please be kind to each other. And the question of the day is, where did you grow up? And we have people from all over the place. This is, this is pretty cool. We've got people from various, various states in the US, uh, India, Argentina, UK. Quite a, quite a diverse group we've got on this call. And no two people from the same place. Unless Rockland is also upstate New York. I don't know where Rockland is. I like to say downstate New York. It's just <laughs> north of New Jersey. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> cool. Um, okay, so the first thing we have on the agenda, because I apparently just can't get enough of discussing renaming the bus factor. Um, I really can't get enough. I'm really tired of it. Let's just rename it and get it over with. Um, but we, in the, let's see, in the last metrics development group, we had sort of landed on contributor risk as the, the name for the bus factor metric. Uh, we've decided we have decided to stick with something descriptive and like we've done for all of the rest of our metrics. I think we were trying to get too cute with this one and it was uh, trying to be too clever with it and it wasn't, wasn't working for us. So we're going to go with something more descriptive. Um, there was a concern, I think it might have been Sophia, around um, contributor risk is pretty broad. And so I think uh, one of the proposals was contributor abandonment risk. And we were talking about this uh, in the last meeting that I was in, which is in the scientific work group meeting. And uh, Bill Hoffman suggested contributor departure risk because there are lots of reasons for departing that may or may not be abandonment. So this is this is where we are now. I've dropped this into the uh, ever-growing issue, which is linked there. So I'm I'm curious what do which people which people think. I I like Alice's uh, pointing out that. Uh, contributor abandonment risk would just be car factor. <laughs> so we we down downgraded from bus to car. Also, sorry, okay, sorry, that's... I'm late, everyone. It's great. That's, that's idea. hilarious. <laughs> but... <laughs> in in a way, it makes it easier because it you can say car factor, oh, but we don't mean being hit by a car. We mean con <laughs> contributor ab absence or abandonment risk. And then it's like, like you kind of get both. You kind of get both. Um... Oh, I didn't even put that together until you said it. So okay, it's even better now. <laughs> yeah, because um, for 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 just jumping into this conversation in a way, can you explain a little bit of? And this is a big can of worms. You don't have to get into it, but like, why we're renaming the bus factor? Because uh, I feel like that. Yeah. 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 I'll, I'll do it in just a second. So when. When you said that, Alice, you said contributor, and you didn't say abandonment. You said another word that started with an A. Yeah, I said absence, and I just put it in a comment as well on the doc, just because absence means they could come back. It's not that they've, you know, something could have happened, family matter or an illness or, you know. Yeah, because I kind of like that more than uh, abandonment. Um, okay, so we're just, we're just going to keep keep talking about this, eventually someday we'll rename this. Um, so Alyssa, to, to get to your question. So the bus factor um, metric, the name has bothered a lot of people for a really long time because it's it's basically how many, you know, it's, it's talking about people getting hit by a bus, um, which is uh, a bit dark, it's a little triggering for people. I think it's, um, it's just not very nice. Um, so we have this, if you go to the, the link here, there's a big long discussion about um, why we're renaming it and what some of the possibilities um, for renaming it were. So that was that was kind of where this came from. And then this has been, uh, you know, a, how long has this journey been? Uh, it has been uh, since March 28th, we've been working on this. And this issue so far is 64 comments. This could possibly be the biggest issue um, that we've ever had in the chaos project. So it's it's been I've just been opening up cans of worms with with renaming this. 
Does that answer your question, Alyssa? Yeah, I just said for, for me, like the trade off is that it's it is familiar to, as a as a concept, and so I think that's why um, the, the this car factor, even though that's not necessarily what the that is maybe is as as uh, you know gruesome, um, still has like some like bridge to this this idea of a bus factor. Okay, Remy, you had your hand up. It just went down. I don't know if you still have a comment slash question. It's, we'll let um, you finish chewing. So it looks like you're having breakfast. I'll just keep talking for a second. Okay. A little lunch, <laughs> but yeah. Um, <laughs> it's it's not just an abstract thing. Um, in, in the Fedora community, we actually had a core maintainer get into a traffic accident and get hit by a vehicle on a bike. And when we were, you know, I was using the term bus factor a little bit too on the nose, Remy. And I was like, oh, okay, this is not just like an abstract thing. This is like a thing that happens. So there are examples of it being like an, an issue in communities I have been a part of in the past. So, you know, and just generally language of violence, we're trying to use less of it. And, um, you know, that's a, it's a good way to go. So it's not just an abstract thing that like, um, it, it is, it's a thing that I have seen in other communities. I thought I would share that. Um, yeah, same. So I, I have used this for a long time and then a similar incident. We, we lost someone to a car accident in one of the CNCF tags that I'm a part of. And then, yeah. And then after that, the bus factor thing got harder for me to use. Okay. There's so we'll, we'll yeah, comment. Damien has a oh. good question. Yeah. yeah. Okay, oh, sorry. I'm, I'm on a little screen, so you kind of have to help me with these. Um, are we looking into modifying the definition of the value? The word risk tends to imply lower, better, and plus factor is larger, better. Oh, that's a good point. I don't know. So far, we are not planning to redefine the metric. Um, yeah, I mean, you make a, you make a good point that that risk does tend to imply something different than factor did. Gary, this is my plug for uh, something that I know made it onto the. Um, well, I also want to say this made it onto a voting thing where lottery factor, I think, actually won like a vote. But I think key contributor count, something like that, uh, was another term that got thrown around a few times. Just to, hello, this is my dog. Um, just to try to give it like a number so you can say a count where the lower number is generally people would think like more risky. Um, count might be something to consider in that vein. But again, should probably put it to yet another poll and see how it goes. Yeah, I so far I've resisted the urge to do another another poll. Um, uh, sorry, let me just comment, copy this into the. Yeah, I I haven't done another poll because I feel like. I feel like the poll doesn't necessarily get us there. I mean, it's, I think it's, I think we need a bit more discussion around it. But yeah, so, so like I said, Lottery Factor actually won the poll. And then I, I guess I should have thought about this. I think Richard Lickauer brought this up, but, you know, lotteries in general are associated with problem gambling, particularly in, um, well, rural parts of the U.S. where I grew up, um, it's it's a big issue. And so I, I guess I should have thought of that. I've been using library factor for a really long time, and now I've gotten uncomfortable with it. Um, so I guess this is a part of your, your each individual learning journey. You start to get more and more uncomfortable with things that, uh, yeah. Okay. So what... What I will do is I will bring all of this back into the metrics development working group meeting, where I think we'll we'll try to make a, a final decision. We thought we had one last week, but uh, we'll we'll take it back. We'll try again. 
For folks that may not uh, have it on top of mind, when is that meeting? Oh, that meeting is next Thursday at uh, next Thursday at five o'clock for me, eleven o'clock Central Time. Oh no, no, I've lost the window I was sharing. <laughs> okay, there we go. Anything else on the, the renaming? Any other topics we want to talk about? Because the only thing left on the agenda are a couple of reminders that will take us just a couple of minutes. So are there any other topics we want to discuss before we move into the reminders? OK. I'm not, I'm not one to keep people uh, longer than we need to. Um, so we do have two, two reminders. So um, the practitioner guides, if you have read them and are using them, we would love your feedback. So I would encourage you, the feedback form is super short. Yes. We're just curious to learn more about how people are using them, what they find valuable. Um, oh, and then I guess the other the other reminder is we actually just published a podcast. Thank you, Alice, today on the responsiveness uh, yeah. practitioner yeah. guide. So Alice interviewed uh, uh, Luis and I, and we talked a little bit about uh, responsiveness and talked about the guide and some you know additional additional things you can think about relative to responsiveness. So I would encourage you to have a look there if somebody wants to drop that into the meet link in two minutes that would be fabulous so i don't have to dig it out and then as a reminder we talked about this in the last hospital working group meeting um in previous working group meetings we had talked about the putting together some chaos data science projects that data scientists could work on that would be valuable for for this group and we had them in a gigantic doc where there were lots of overlap and um, it was a little bit hard to, to parse. So I have moved all of those out into a um, into GitHub issues, individual okay. issues. So I would encourage you to have a look at the, the link here, which is a link to all of the issues that are tagged with uh, the project label. And if there are any that you're interested in, in working on, um, drop, a, drop a note in one of the issue comments, or if you're... Um, if you have other projects that you want the data science group to consider, there is an issue template for the um, working group data science repository. So you, we have an issue template for creating a new project. So if there's something else that you think we should work on, feel free to, to do that. Any questions on the data science projects? Okay, uh, Remy. CMS Summer Fellowships Internships. Yes. So by the next time we all meet, uh, hopefully there will be a few new faces joining us at the OSPO Metrics meeting. Uh, we are about to kick off our summer internship and fellowship program here at CMS. Uh, we have three summer fellows who are joining from the Coding It Forward program. And in July, we will have two fellows from the Code in the Schools program. Uh, we have targeted a lot of OSPO projects for uh, some of the rotations that they'll be working on. So uh, we're hopeful that they can become part of the chaos community and get to meet and know some of you folks and work with the tools and projects that we all have been working on together. So I wanted to give everyone a heads up uh, and let folks know that uh, if you see some new faces in Slack, there might be some interns hanging out and they are going to be newcomers, uh, some of them first timers. So uh, Excited to help grow the community and want to give you folks a heads up before they get here. That's awesome. Thanks, Remy. Okay, anything else before we close out the meeting? Okay, well, thank you everybody for coming and I will give you back some time in your day. Bye everybody. Bye. All right, thank you.